What's going on? I got a nice tutorial for you guys today. This is on how to do a custom transition for your videos. Um, this is going to be a very simple one. It's not going to be advanced with a lot of steps. This is pretty simple um, to get you started so you can start experimenting with doing custom transitions. Um, you need, um, I don't know if you can do any custom transitions in Sony Vegas. Um, as you can tell, this is for After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to import our clip. We're going to have two clips. We're going to import our first clip. Make a new composition. Go to Composition Settings. And we're going to change it from 12 seconds to 52 seconds. Just so that we have a nice timeline and we can uh, we'll have plenty of, see that we have plenty of time for making the transition. And then what you're going to do is we're going to add the clip again. So what we're going to do for the first part, the first step, is find a good spot up here in the doorway to freeze the frame. And we're going to freeze the frame of the top layer of the top video first. So about right there in the middle. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Layer, Time, Freeze Frame. And that will freeze this entire frame. And we're going to drag this to there that way the video plays that way the rest of the video will play and then from that point on it'll just stay frozen in time and then what we're also going to do is we want to be able to get this to match up almost perfectly even though this is a tutorial so I'm not going to really be able to make it perfect drag this clip over here and we're going to shorten this up too. Alright, and then what we're going to do is with the top selected, we're going to go select the pen tool and we're going to mask out the doorway here. So it's not going to be perfect because I really don't care at the moment. And with that selected, we're going to go to masks from Add to subtract. I see I I brought the clip too far over, so now there's a black screen before. All right, there we go. Next, what we're going to want to do is import our second clip that we're going to want to be in the doorway of the video. And we're going to drag it in between right here. All right. over just a little bit. Alright, got a little bit of a black screen but that's alright. So next what we're going to, do, going to do is with the top video selected we're going to transform, set keyframes for position and scale and it adds these two keyframes from 619 to here, let's bring this out a little bit later, a little bit longer. We're going to make this a one second transition. So, about 719. We're going to have it, this will, for position, this is left and right, I believe. No, this is up and down. Alright, and this is left to right, and this will make it larger. So, we're going to scale it up first. And then we're going to take and position it downwards a little bit. And then we're just going to keep on positioning it to try to be center as possible. Just like that. That way it goes into the second clip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick pre-render of it. Like I said, this is not going to be perfect in any way. This is just to give you guys an idea for those of you who 
haven't ever known how to do a custom transition, this is just to give you an idea of how it's done so you can play with it a bit more in practice. This is where the pre-render gets slow for some weird reason. I think the reason why it's taking a while, and it didn't pre-render all the way through. I don't know why. But, yep, you guys can see it. It's just very simple, just to get you started. And what you can do, too, is so that the clip, the second clip isn't playing while, it's, while the transition is happening. You can always uh, do basically what you did for the first clip is bring the clip in again and do a freeze frame but like I said this is just to give me an idea of how this is done so I hope this was a fairly simple and easy to follow tutorial I hope you guys can start uh, adding some custom transitions I've only done them I don't do them a lot I do them here and there a few times like I've, I've done the doorway a couple times and the uh, uh, scope transitions a couple times, but you know these are good for short mini edits uh, for actual montages. I really don't want to do have a lot of effects going on because then it just makes the video really large. But yep, that's all there is to it, guys. Um, let me know what other tutorials you may want. I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. Thanks, guys.